The debt to equity ratio is a figure calculated by taking the total liabilities of a company and dividing it by the shareholder's equity. Liabilities and equity are simple terms to understand. Liabilities are things that a company owes, which can be found on a balance sheet. Shareholder's equity basically means assets minus liabilities, which is what a company is physically worth. A high debt to equity ratio isn't a good sign. It basically means that a business's debt outweighs its net worth. So if a company had to pay off its debts immediately, they would struggle. As a value investor, a low debt to equity ratio is something that you should always keep an eye out for. The ratio should be less than one, which means that a company would have enough money to pay off its debt if needed. Now before you compare company's debt to equity ratio, you have to keep in mind the type of business that they do. For example, a retail business will probably have a lower debt to equity ratio than a utilities business. Investment companies and banks will have a higher debt to equity ratio because they deal with a lot of debt financing. So make sure the companies you evaluate are of the same business. Companies A, B and C are all part of the same industry. We'll use retail for this example. So company A has a total debt of $100 billion and equity of $150 billion, giving them a debt to equity ratio of 0.67. Company B has no debt and an equity of $50 billion. And company C has $40 billion in debt and $32 billion in equity, giving them a debt to equity ratio of 1.25. Now from these companies, take out company C because it has more debt than equity. Company A isn't too bad because it has a debt to equity below one. But company B stands out because they have no debt at all. If there is an economic downturn in the future, the companies with the lowest amount of debt are the ones that will efficiently recover. Here's a little tip. Make sure you keep in mind the type of business when evaluating debt to equity ratios. Compare retail to retail, financials to financials, and so on and so forth. Thank you.